Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Bay, and this is Budget with Bay. hey you guys hey 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 last time i seen you guys i was doing this amazing cash stuffing for my sinking funds binders all four of them i was able to get a four thousand dollar financial aid refund if you guys haven't seen that amazing cash stuffing it should be popping up somewhere in the corner but today we are doing something new we are doing something that i want to implement because i always have a lot of questions about it okay so today this is my bills binder we are not doing a cash stuffing today. Instead, we are doing a cash unstuffing slash bill payback, like a like a paying myself back for my bills this month, okay? And the reason why I wanted to do this video is because I am one month ahead and people tend to miss over that part and then they ask me, well, why do you cash stuff your bills? You can't pay your bills in cash. You have to take them back to the bank. I saved up enough money to become one month ahead in my finances. Doing that lead, doing that allowed me to put one month of full bills, full, full bills, I'll be able to show you guys, inside of my bills account. Now, once that happened, I was able to do the automatic payment for a majority of my bills. I think it's like only two bills that I don't do automatic payments for because I just want to make those payments myself. But other than that, everything is on auto draft, baby. Everything is on auto draft. I feel like a real adult <laughs> because everything is on auto draft. Okay, it's it's giving adulting. It's giving adulting. Um, but yes, so let me go ahead and show you guys. I showed you guys in my first cash stuffing of um, January, my paycheck budget book. So I'm gonna show you guys my budget book now with the bill amounts that they actually were. So this was the January 1st um, paycheck budget. These are my fixed expenses. So my fixed expenses have lowered a little bit. So when I did save up enough money, I actually saved $2,221 but for January my total came out to $2,069 which means I do have like a little bit of a buffer now like a little less than $200 as a buffer in my bill account so what I do is this is what I cash stuffed these are the amounts that actually came out so I will look at my um, activity in that bills account and then I write down how much was actually taken out from each um, for basically each expense these are my fixed expenses usually your monthly bills usually the number does not change drastically i would say it change probably between four to ten dollars and then it may change depending on the holiday but i'm gonna y'all i looked i'm <laughs> you guys are not gonna believe how much my gas bill is crazy right but i'm gonna tell you guys um i'm gonna when we get to that envelope i will actually put a screenshot of what they said my bill was and i am in awe because this this i am in awe but let's go ahead and get started so these are my beautiful beautiful envelopes that i love so so much hold on i want to sit this back but yes so rent rent currently has $1,137 inside and it actually came out to be $1,136.95 so we are taking out the full $1,137 because I'm just going to round up so we have 100, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 1,100, 120, 130, 135, 136, 137 for rent $1,137 is going back to the bank and my bank account right now since everything had since all of my bills have been taken out my bank account only has like the buffer money in there and so when I go ahead and deposit this I'm basically replenishing replenishing it I'm like what's happening I don't have any 50s in here okay so utilities utilities I put 160 in here and both of my utilities, my gas and my electric came um, together to be $75 and 71 cents. My 
utilities is, I mean, my um, electricity bill is $75 because I'm in that like budget billing program where they basically um, find the medium of where your bill usually is. And then that's just how much you pay for a year. So I opted into that program. And so I'm just paying $75 every month for my electricity bill, which I'm happy because my electricity bill used to be like in the 130, 140, 120 yeah y'all <laughs> yes but it was 75 dollars, and y'all my gas bill <laughs> my gas bill was 71 cents you guys it was 71 cents so all i'm taking out of here is 75 dollars and 71 cents i'm gonna round that up that's just gonna be 76 dollars so this is what we're gonna do we're gonna do 50 70 we're gonna do 80 we're gonna do 80 and do I have five ones in here? No, I do not. 80 and I'm just gonna put over here that I owe myself, cause I'm not gonna make change right now. I'll make change at the end, but I put in here $80. So I round that up to 76. I just owe myself $4. So I'm just gonna put the number four at the top to let myself know that I owe myself $4. And then we have 50, 55, 60 with the four, we have $64 left over. And I'm gonna show you guys what I do with leftover money. So streaming, Hulu came out to be 865 and then Spotify came out to be 1081. That's why I round Spotify up to 11 and I round Hulu up to nine. So I should be taking out everything from here. I'm like I'm missing money okay boom now that's more like it so we have 10 15 16 17 18 19 20 basically the 9 plus 11 is 20 and that's why I rounded all of those up so we're gonna do what am I doing y'all just let me put all that money in <laughs> Y'all just let me put all that money inside this one um, slot, but yes. So this is what's going back. The full 20 is going back to the bank. And because I owe myself $4, I'm taking the $4 back out. One, two, three, and four. Boom, so I have my 64. And then I'm just gonna erase this. Sorry if the camera is shaking. I'm just gonna erase this because I no longer owe myself money. Internet, internet came out to be $102.85 and I cashed up $103 in here. So we have 100, 101, 102, 103. All of that is going back to the bank. Verizon, my Verizon bill came out to be a $149.65. I put 150 in there. I'm talking about y'all, I'm right on the money. I am right on the money when it comes to my bills. Now insurance, we have two insurances in here we have life insurance my life insurance stays the same it's 28 dollars a month so we have 20 25 26 27 and 28 and then my car insurance my car insurance i cashed up 156 dollars, but it actually came out to be 150 dollars and 16 cents i'm not going to worry about the 16 cents because i clearly overstuffed a little bit in just this cash stuffing so i'm pretty sure 16 cents will be justified in one of these envelopes so i'm putting back all of this money we have 100 150 155 156 is going back to the bank i didn't cash stuff anything in amazon storage let's see so storage number one is 176 dollars and that's just the same amount that it is every month. So we have 100, 150, 170, 175, 176 going back to the bank. And then the second storage is 139. And that's how much I cashed up as well. So we have 100, 120, 130, 135, 36, 37, 38, and 39. Now I know a lot of people were telling, well, weren't telling me, but they were basically, um, what is it? They were recommending I find one storage that's big enough to hold 
you know everything that's in both of them why don't i downsize and stuff like that so like that's my goal within the next two months is to downsize so i do plan on downsizing so i can save more money because my lease um is up in march and i just renewed it so my rent is actually going up 50 dollars. so you know just little areas that i want to save for now this envelope this envelope is my one month ahead envelope i am already one month ahead so the goal is to be two months ahead so what i do with rollover money i have i believe i have 64 dollars here anything that is left over inside of this binder after i've paid my bills as you see i put that towards my one month ahead fund so we have 64 dollars that we're adding to our one month ahead fund we have a 50 and then we have a we have fives and we have ones so let's see and then we're also going to do a quick 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 little bill swap this will be my first bill swap y'all i'm nervous i'm nervous oh i'm nervous okay so for our second month ahead fund we have 100 200 300 400 500 600 700 750 770 790 95 800 that is 800 dollars one two three four five six seven eight nine eight hundred and nine eight hundred and fourteen dollars you guys i have eight hundred and fourteen dollars so far for my second month ahead fund so i will update this last time i did it i had 750 i was able to add 304 dollars from that sinking fund and now i have 814 which i'm so so grateful about but since we are already here let's just do a quick little bill swap so we have hundreds that i'm not gonna do no bill we have one we have 50 one 50. let's keep this let's swap these two 50s out for this hundred and then I have two 20s and two fives. We're gonna give ourselves another 50. Then we're gonna put these two 50 back, 50s back and give ourselves 100. I have five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So I'm gonna put these two fives back and then give myself a 10. And that literally is all that I can do at the moment, which is fine with me. So I still should have the same, which is 814. So we have 100, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 814 dollars in our second month ahead fund. Okay. Okay, little bill swappy, little bill swap swap. I'm happy about that, you guys. And so this is how I save for my month ahead fund if I don't cash stuff it as a sinking fund. I always put the rollover money in from my envelopes inside of here. From this envelope um, stuffing that I did last month and with the bills that came out, I was actually able to save and contribute $64 towards my second month ahead fund. So I'm so happy about that. Now let's go ahead and give this account account. I should have $1,983.78. Clearly I don't have the 78 cents. So if we round up, we should have about $1,983 or $84. So slide this out the way and put our calculator, calculator, put our calculator down today. We have 100, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 1,000. 102, 3, 4. These are bothering my spirit, you guys, and I'm going to count again. So we have 102, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 1,100, 200, 300, 400. We have $1,400 right here. Then we have 50, 100, 50, 250, 350. We have 350. We have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 160. We have 10, 20, 30. We have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. Hmm, so 45. 
So I'm gonna, ooh, backspace. Hey, look, look at that button coming in handy. And then we have, split this up, cause these nails ooh, are driving me, uh, y'all, I'm not used to it. So we have one, <laughs> two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So we have $20 in ones, and let's see what our total is. Plus 20 gives us, first of all, I'm well over. I am very much well over, and did I miscount? It says that I have $2,005. We're gonna do this count one more time, because if I have $2,005, that means I cashed up eight, nine, 10, 11. Seven, eight, nine, ten. I cashed stuffed an extra seventy-four dollars in here, and if I did that, I'm gonna put that extra seventy-four dollars back in here. Cause I know my math is mathing. So let, hold on, let me see. It um, rent was one thousand thirty-six dollars, and oops, rent was one thousand thirty-six dollars and ninety-five cents plus the seventy-five. 71 from utilities plus 8 65 from hulu plus 10 81 from spotify plus my internet which was 102.85 phone bill was 149.65 plus car insurance which is 156.16 plus 156 oh jesus plus 156 plus 0.16 plus $28 for my life insurance policy plus storage number one 176 plus storage number two 139 so yes we have $1,983.78 so let's see if I'm really over if I really have that same amount because I do know I rounded a couple of these up but I shouldn't have that much money left over so well I shouldn't have that much money over stuff so we have 100 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 1000 100 200 300 400 so we have 1400 dollars right there minus 1400 oh Then we have 50, 150, 250, 350, that's 350. Minus 350, then we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 160, right you guys? Yes, minus 160, then we have 10, 20, 30, minus 30. And then we have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, minus 45. And then we know this is 20, minus 20 equals, I'm over $21.22 is what it says. Hmm. Is that right? Is that right? So 1931 should equal 2069. So if I'm over $21.22, I am actually just gonna take out the 20 and the one, and that will also go towards my month ahead. Okay, this is how we do it. Because I already have some buffer money inside of my um, bills account. So although having put in the $21 in my bills account will be nice, it's not needed, but it can go somewhere that it is needed, which is my month ahead fund. So yes, you guys, that is how I did that. <laughs> and I hope this video wasn't long, but I do want to say um, that it's the end of the month. This is my last video of January. And I just want to say thank you all. Hi to all my new subscribers. Uh, welcome back to all my already subscribers, my budget babes. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. You guys are simply amazing. This community is amazing. I just want to say thank you guys for um loving me authentically and appreciating me be my authentic self i love this this makes me so so happy and i'm just I, i'm happy and i hope that i inspire people and i you know i'm just happy <laughs> i'm happy i'm happy i'm happy so yeah um mom's about to go get a little self-care time in and i'm about to go watch um 
some like streaming gamers i don't know you guys that's something that i picked up on during COVID, and i just like to watch people play video games because i'm too scared to play them but yes you guys please make sure you guys like comment and subscribe to my channel follow me on all of my social media platforms in the meantime and in between time babies i will see you guys in the next video bye